Saturday, December 12th. I think Black Monday is coming up and probably Black Tuesday too. And I, don't, I know I haven't done financial videos in a long time and I was adamant about, I guess 2006 I started streaming around there, 2007. And, you know, saw how leveraged the financial markets were. And then Hank Paulson come in, came in and, uh, anyway, the United States avoided catastrophe back then, just like they did back in 1987. This time, though, see, interest rates are so low. They've been zero, essentially zero for, what, eight or nine years. And uh, there's a confluence of, of events, I think, that the bubbles finally popped, frankly. Finally, I think it's popped. So here I am, Pacific Ocean, beautiful San Francisco, high waves, and I'm watching them crash out there. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, so I know I haven't posted financial stuff in a while, but here goes. And as you, oh, there's the Golden Gate Bridge right there. It's beautiful here in San Francisco. And I do a lot of things I love about living here. Most of my friends are back in the Rocky Mountains, but uh, <laughs> you know, I like living here in San Francisco for now. So, um, wow, oh my gosh, like there's a bird just, oh my gosh, the way they hang on the wind around here, and you get to see the ships roll in, all that. Anyway, back to Black Monday. So, Black Monday, why do I think that Zero Hedge is pretty interesting? I got a really good friend here in San Francisco, and others have watched Zero Hedge, and you know, it's got, especially with market crises, they have a lot of stuff, but... Uh, they they pointed out that there's 1.1 trillion dollars of S&P options expiring on Friday, and I think 620 billion are puts. You know, and it's hard to explain all that stuff. I guess I was reading a review of The Big Short, and you know, even that I guess doesn't explain a lot of stuff, but some things. So puts, you know, betting the market's going to go down. That's a lot of money, as some people say. Friday, 1.1 trillion of puts expiring. We got the Fed decision on on Wednesday. We've got the global warming change, the climate change, you know. I guess I guess they're gonna put handcuffs on you if you use your mind to think about it. You better go with Al Gore or you're, you'll be executed or something. I mean, you just almost have to laugh. You read about how seriously people are taking it, like they're saving the planet. And John Kerry's credibility is, is about zilch, you know, as our, you say just, you gotta laugh, especially if your IQ is high uh, and you're not hell-bent on being popular with the 24-year-old trendies. Um, anyway, let's look at the ocean for a little bit and talk about Black Monday, global warming, and etc. So we had this huge historic supposedly thing in Paris, and uh, also with oil going under 36. You know, I mean, <laughs> you got people shutting down fossil fuel fuels. It, you know, it's going to be hard to have a wood burning stove, even in Utah. I guess they're going to shut those down like at the end of winter. Crazy stuff, but. Uh, Maybe we can pay Al Gore some money, you know. Uh, Al Blood or Gore Blood, whatever, Blood Gore, the name of the corporation. The only way you can kind of maintain that is laugh. But for those that financially get it, the interest rates are so low that there's no way to kind of dig out of this. And the Fed figured out a way to dig out by just basically massive expansion, you know, just printing dollars like crazy. And we're still in deflation. And people are laying off in the mining companies, and copper's down, and gold's down, and silver's down. I remember when there was in, uh, some, you know, George wanted me to do Inflation U.S. back in Beverly Hills five years ago. It's like, no, man, we got deflation. Still got deflation. Inflation will come, but not just yet. We have deflation to put up with. So Black Monday, I think the markets are going to crash pretty hard this next week. Starting Monday, and they'll be going crazy. I was watching the VIX. And, you know, financial guys aren't supposed to talk about Jesus Christ in the second coming, right? Well, whatever. So, Jesus Christ is alive. It just is, de facto. Just like there's a wall with people that died. They're going to resurrect. Of course they're going to resurrect. Yeah, it's de facto. Man built the bridge. God built the mountains. Put the ocean in. Man built the boat, the cars. And, uh, but... One thing that has helped me out a lot is I was taking a wonderful class in uh, Utah from a woman named Demi, a yoga teacher. Amazing. And she said, uh, everything happens for a reason. I 
know, some of you heard that before, but for me it was kind of revel. Everything happens for a reason. The United States has prospered for a couple hundred years, but that's going to end because we've been bullies to the whole world. And some Amer a lot of Americans realize it more than you know because you're not going to see it on MSNBC. And, you know, I, I even CNBC, you know, that, that debate, I wish I would have watched it, but I used to have respect for Cardinal Skintini and those folks. But, you know, after they just try to decimate anybody that's for the Constitution, you just go, you got to laugh at the, at, as you hear it on Alex Jones, the lamestream media. <laughs> it is pretty funny. And the global warming thing, to take it all serious, you know, it's just, uh, <laughs> let's see what kind of penalties have. I guess they're probably going to get serious about the penalties and stuff like that eventually. But uh, I think the market bubble is going to crack. And, you know, a lot of people are going to get sad because their bubble will burst. But Babylon the great shall fall and great shall be the fall thereof. It's not, this isn't a total fall of, uh, um, fall of Babylon. We got to get to the point where, you know, we got to have, hey, I got my chip shirt on right now, okay? There's my ID chip number. Wear my shirt to buy food at Walmart two years from now. Um, I know I goof off a lot, but you have to, to keep your sanity. So I think it's going to be a Black Monday week. I think what, I think it's going to be extremely interesting to kind of watch the financial markets. But uh, I'd say the bubbles burst and signing. I'm digging the foghorn. It's just great. Um, oh, there's another ship coming out. Here, I'm going to show you this instead of me. A lot better view. Golden Gate. Oh my gosh, I love watching these birds fly around here. Just like totally cool. Um, this is it. Final countdown. So try to get in the best shape you can and realize that the whole system isn't what's in your wallet. Realize there's tons of edible plants out there. Global warming is 100% farce. Man's not really affecting the environment very much. Not like the volcanoes and earthquakes that are going to hit. And uh, you ought to go see, you ought to go see uh, San Andreas if you get a chance. Because it's kind of weird living here. You know, you watch that uh, tidal wave come in. <laughs> where people are saved and all that. Uh, it's nice to, to get out and see beautiful San Francisco. The birds flying around. And the financial markets will be kind of interesting to watch. If you're... Happiness is dependent on high stock prices. I don't think you're going to be very happy this next week. If you kind of happiness de is dependent on the sun and Jesus Christ and love. Uh, look at that. And you believe in the Lord, which is obviously true. He's coming back. He's coming back. He's coming back for sure. 100%. 100%. Well, I love everybody, but it's just going to be end up... A lot of us uh, are not going to make it through the next 10 years. And, uh, it's going to be some epic moments. In the financial markets, I believe Monday will be epic. Okay, rock on. At least I'm finally posting. If I get this up, ciao.